Well, guys, today is a really, really special day in the in the world because it was 104 years ago today that Miss Othella Moss was born and brought to this earth. And she is celebrating 104 years today, something not anybody in my world has ever done. And we celebrate her today on 104.1 KRBE. Happy birthday, Miss Moss. Happy Thank birthday. you. But we wanted to acknowledge uh, what an amazing thing it is to be alive 104 years. Um, you want to, I'll start first. Why don't you tell us something that, what is one of your favorite memories in your 104 years of life? What is one of your favorite memories? Is it from when you were 16, you were 10, you were 60, you were 80? When did the, uh, hi, what was the highlight of your life? Oh, to get married and the boys all got homes and went to school, educated them. What year did you get married, Miss Moss? Oh, I got married in 1939. Wow. <laughs> Guys, 65, 65 years of it. Unbelievable. How many children, Miss Moss? I have seven children. And how many grandchildren do I have? You have 39. <laughs> 39 grandchildren. And any great grandchildren yet? Yes, you have five. With 39 grandchildren, a handful of great grandchildren, and seven children, how crowded does it get around the holidays? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> what does the grocery bill look like? What does your grocery <laughs> cart look like when you're shopping for Thanksgiving? Oh, oh. it's hundreds of dollars. <laughs> we feed us all. Whatever we make it. <laughs> No setting them out. <laughs> Ms. Moss, do you have a favorite memory? Like, what's your earliest memory? Well, the, the family. Got married and had the family. What would you tell your 18-year-old self? Go to school. <laughs> Education. Go to school. Learn, learn something to... To, to do. Miss Moss, did you go to college? Did you have a chance to go to college? No, I didn't get to go to college. I went to Beulah's College. Did you? And then how many years did you use that craft? I guess if you went to beauty school. Nine months. So just nine months, you were a beautician. And then what, you got married and had kids and yeah. then that, that ended the road for beauty yeah. school. I hear you. I mean, Miss Moss, the things, Kevin and Freddie and I don't even know how much time we have to ask you the thousands of questions we can think of because if you were born in Houston in 19, I mean, in, uh, 104 years ago, the things that you've seen and the way Houston has evolved for all aspects of your life, for being a woman, for being an African-American woman, for being a Texan, for being a mama, for being a grandmama. I don't even know where to begin. What is something that you would like to share with us that you've seen that you yourself can't believe is something in 2021 that you couldn't even imagine in 1939 or 1924? Uh, a black man being president. That's correct. Exactly yes, right. A hundred percent. Unbelievable. Yes, ma'am. What an amazing thing that was. And a, to and see. a black woman as vice president. Vice president. Black, black woman president now. That's next. <laughs> Miss Moss, I got a question for you. And and I know this is on the minds of every young person who's who's looking to live to be a hundred four years old. And, and going, what is your secret to a long, happy life? You've surrounded yourself with family and kids and grandkids and, and great grandbabies now. What is your secret to being there all these years and, and to being happy and healthy? Watch what you eat. Okay. I like that. What, what do you eat? To stay healthy. When you say watch it, what do you eat? Not too much salt and grease. And eat vegetables instead of sweets. 
and eat a lot of fruit and drink some milk. Milk. What is your favorite vegetable? Black eyed peas. Oh, I love black eyed peas. Do you have that with a side of bourbon every now and then on a special holiday? <laughs> Ever have some whiskey with that, Miss Moss? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a Got little. To have my peas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are precious, wonderful, a blessing to your family and everybody around you. Do you still like to cook, Miss Moss? Do you cook for yourself often, or now you have so many grandkids and great grandkids? Well, they stopped me from cooking. They said I was a fire fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> well, they stopped me from cooking and I, I I don't cook now. Are you allowed to supervise at least? Make them cook, but just tell them how to do it when you stand next to them. Can you do that? Oh, they don't want no supervision. <laughs> they say they know it all. Well, uh, following up on supervision, they you know, call me old fashioned. There's nothing wrong with that, Miss Moss. That is that is not that is not an insult. That is a compliment. Definitely. They your your grandchildren and great grandchildren are so lucky that they have you. And I hope to your grandchildren who are listening to this that they get their phones out and start taping every story you have, start recording you on their devices because I can only imagine the stories that you have to tell for all these years as an American. Uh, you know, this is this has got to be a first. Rula and Kevin and I have been at the radio station for quite some time now, mm -hmm. and this is the this has got to be a first in the history of KRBE that we are celebrating somebody who is 104 years old. It's not very often that we get to speak with somebody with a centenarian, uh, much less a centenarian whose number is the same as our frequency on radio. <laughs> that means lot to us miss moss what are you going to do to celebrate today your 104th birthday what is the plan with your family well we're gonna just chat with the friends and come by and eat up the food that they cook so they're not going to take you out anywhere you guys are going to have a family party at home with some home cooking i got arthritis i can't dance no more Oh, you can still shake, shake a little bit in your chair. Can't you miss Moss wiggle a little in your chair? <laughs> yes. Yes. And uh, do they make your favorite meal? What's the home cooking going to be of the day for the big 104th birthday? We should all eat that meal today to celebrate you. Miss yes. Othella Moss day. What's what are we eating today? Miss Moss. Oh, chicken and stuffing. Potato salad, uh, black eyed peas, and German chocolate cake. Uh, uh, potato, p potato pies. Well, I hope to celebrate the birthday. The next one. I lost a sister. She was a hundred and six. Wow, what is the secret in your family, Miss Moss? What is the secret to living well like this? <laughs> she was the oldest one that, that, that in my family lived to get 106. Is there a secret that we need to know about besides eating our vegetables? Oh, <laughs> it's just a blessing from the Lord. Yeah. I don't think nobody can control their own life, you know. So I think it's just, it's just a blessing from the Lord that if you treat yourself right, like I said, watch what you eat. You can't eat a lot of the junk. All this junk food ain't good for you. But you get you some solid vegetables and some a little sweet another once in a while. And some something to drink, but don't leave off the milk. Right. Very important for you. <laughs> All right. Happy birthday, Miss Moss. Happy birthday. And thanks for spending a few minutes talking to us today. We really appreciate it. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. 
We love you, Miss Moss. Thank you to your family for listening to 104.1 KRVE. Uh, it is our honor to meet you, ma'am. I don't know anybody who's 104 years old, but now I know you. So we celebrate Miss Othella Moss today on 104.1 KRVE. You guys have a wonderful day enjoying you. And uh, we thank you so much. Big hugs from the KRVE family. Thank you very much. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.